welcome back. <laughs> I decided that I just had like this inspiration that I needed to do my next video, so here I am. The lighting's a bit funny, I apologise. Um, I know I've got something bouncing off my, I've done a test, I know I've got something bouncing off my glasses. Not a lot I can do about that. I need one of those green lights, but you know. If anybody wants to give me one, feel free. I love it. <laughs> but I thought, because I'm going away, which I talked about in my last video, I just was doing stuff today, because I'm still, oh, this is my last day on my week off. So I thought, I just, you know, I was doing stuff, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go record that video that I wanted to record. So here I am, and I'm in my lounge room. I thought somewhere different, you know, I've got my little viewfinder, it's a mirror, because <laughs> I've got a little Nikon, and it's not one of these fancy ones, so I, I use a mirror, believe it or not, so I can see what I'm filming. <laughs> it's, you know, tips and tricks and cheats. You do what you do, so you can record. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, this video. Now, I said last time I hinted that it was a bit different, and it is. So, this video is about your psychic toolbox. And I have a question. What's in your psychic toolbox? Welcome to my channel again. So, what is in your psychic toolbox? And you're sitting there and thinking, what? I was going to have a cute little picture drawn too, but... That just went out the window because I actually forgot about it. <laughs> I was going to have a cute little picture to hold up of a toolbox, even though I can't draw. I mean, I can try now. Hang on a minute. I'll, I'll try to put one in the back of my book. Hang on. I, you know, I, I draw like a, I draw like a two-year-old. See, I have this book, and I use this book to do stuff. So you know, a toolbox is something like. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Um. Oh, dear. Well, there's the handle. And it sort of goes down like this, doesn't it? And then it goes like this, and then it goes like this, I think. Yeah, and I'll just put something fancy on it. And um, I'll just put toolbox, because... There you go. There you go. There's my picture. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, my picture of a toolbox. <laughs> So, what's in your psychic toolbox? Now, I haven't written the word psychic because I, it's one of those, you know, it's like psychology. It's just one of those words that you just really have to think about. And I'm sure you don't want to see me sitting here for five minutes going psychic. P-H-Y, you know, it's one of those ones that, you know, it can be a word you can see a dozen times. But if you have trouble spelling words, let me know in the comments below because I always have lots of comments. But there, psychic toolbox. Now I've got to go back to the page I was on. This is my little book I use. So, what is in your psychic toolbox? Tell me. Leave comments below. Tell me. Have a conversation with me about it. Some of you are going, but what is it? Okay, so the psychic tool, a psychic toolbox is a term that people in, um, and I will call it an industry because it, that's what it is referred to as an industry, in the healing, healing industry and the, the industry that is like the psychic industry, I suppose, for want of a better word, and it's a term we use because, and the reason we use it is, you know how different trades, you know, you've got your plumbers and your electricians and your, your um, you know, your, your builders and you've got your chippies and all, you know, bricklayers and that. They all have toolboxes and they all have stuff, tools in their toolboxes they use. And so do we. So it's a term we use. It's a term we use for all the stuff that you use in your work as a healer or as a medium, you know, whatever your gift is and however you use it, all the things you use that help you use your gift, so all the tools you use is known as, is, is, is stored in what we call your psychic toolbox. So things like Reiki and Sashim, they're a modality, but they're in my psychic toolbox because I use those. Then on top of that, you've got things like anybody that does like kinesiology or NLP or, or um, I am looking down, sorry guys. Maybe I'll just try to put it here. No, that's not going to work either. 
you know, anybody that, you know, has any sort of modality that they've learned, you know, bowling, all that sort of stuff, all works on an energetic level. So they all have that in their psychic toolbox. So that's probably one of the, the main things. It's probably the modality. But then there's all these other things like, you know, if you're a person that you do he healings on somebody, you know, or that's what your main thing is. You do healings and you have to, but you can have different techniques that you may use. You have different techniques that you may use for clearing energy. You may bring in different tools that you've learned, th things that you've learned along the way that, you know, people have taught you that help to shift energy. And that could be physical things like uh, crystals or, um, you know, using um, medicine drums or using um, Tibetan singing bowls, using Taishings, um, even like things like um, sounding, toning, that's a that's a technique, toning, you know, where you make a sound and the, the vibration, like that's what, like uh, if you hear chanting and stuff, that chanting is a form of toning. Um, chanting is chanting, but it's also an example of, of what toning can be. When you hear the monks and people toning, they're using different pitches. Um, music is another thing that people can use because, you, you know, if you go on YouTube, you can get uh, music that's designed at different hertz to vibrate in our body because our, bo our body does well with different vibrations. And so different pitches can help shift block, de block energy. You know, chakra clearings, just... Look, I could go, you know, I could go on and on and on, you know, um, genetic alchemy. I mean, that's just another tool, part of it, that somebody could use to help another person clear stuff. You know, it just, there's so many things that you can bring in. And it's just what you yourself have learned through others, like myself. I mean, I wasn't just born and then all of a sudden I had this childhood and, and, I mean, you can see I've done a video on my spiritual journey, so you can go and check that out if you like. But, you know, all of a sudden I wasn't born and I just knew how to do all this stuff. It was a journey. It was part of my journey. I had to learn. And I had to have mentors and teachers and people that helped me learn. It's, it's like when you learn an instrument. It's like when you learn anything. You have people that help teach you and encourage you and you have mentors. So you learn all this stuff. And all this stuff you learn, you put away into your psychic toolbox. And sometimes some of it you don't use very often. Sometimes you even forget about it and then somebody says, hey, what about it? And you go, oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about that. You know, it's like everything. If you don't use it, you lose it. So some stuff, you know, it gets put into your toolbox and you, you sort of you just forget about it, you know. It's like when you rummage around to the bottom of your toolbox and you find that screwdriver and you went, oh, I forgot I had that screwdriver in there. Have you ever had that happen? <laughs> or you rummage around and you find something else and you went, oh, is that where it is? That happens to me quite a lot. I go, oh yeah, I've forgotten that. I've forgotten to, yeah, I forgot I could do that. So that's basically what, you know, your, your psychic toolbox is about. It's about all the things that you've gained and that you use in your capacity as a healer to help you. And it's, and you use different things for different people. You don't use the same things. You may have a process that you, you generally follow, and everybody has their own process. It's a very personal thing. Everybody's process is different. Some people may do similar things, you know, to each other, depending on, on what your modality is and what you're doing and how strictly you follow your modality. <clears throat> Some people are very, very um, definite on how they, they do their mandala, mod, mandala. <laughs> mandala. <laughs> modality. Others, you know, they're a lot more flexible and they incorporate their modality in and around other things that they use. And that's what I tend to do. That's how I tend to work. I tend to be quite flexible. In, in that way but you know and so you you can bring in you can have a process you might have some things that you do every single healing you know it's just like it's just what you do every single healing you might do this and this and this and this and then from there on you just let the healing flow and whatever needs to be done needs to be done it's a very individual <coughs> healing is a very individual thing uh, the healer and you've got to do what you're guided to do for the person that is on the bed that you are you are you are treating that you are working with. So yeah, so I just thought I'd be a good little video to do. I thank you for watching this video. I really, really, really appreciate the time you've taken to watch it. If you've gotten this far in my video, thank you so much for staying with me right to the you know so at the end 
of my video. My last video was my video on Sashim. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, I have a playlist that you can check out. I usually put them at the end of my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. I, I would really... I would really love you to join my very small community. It is a very small community I have. I would really love you to join my community. Um, feel free to leave comments and to start conversations below about what's in your psychic toolbox or if you do a modality and um, it may be something I've never heard of. I mean, there's lots of modalities out there that even I'm not aware of. I'm aware of a lot, but I'm sure there's others that I've never heard of. So I'm always interested in discovering new modalities that, you know, just for my own information, if nothing else, you know, and that's the thing, it's about also being open to new stuff as well. Don't forget guys, I have a Facebook page, it is called Liz C, I always put the link in the description below. My Liz C page, I share a lot, I share, um, I share, I mean, I don't just share sayings, but I also share a lot of events that are happening, mainly in Australia, but if anything, I have a few people I follow that are overseas so if they're doing any workshops or anything like that I always make sure and I get notified or notified I always make sure that I share it to my list C page because you know I like my page is a worldwide page so I like to try to share stuff that comes in from different areas as well to let you guys know what's happening like I said most of it is Australia based but if anything's overseas I also share it um, as well and I also do my weekend muse. My weekend muse I do either on a Saturday or a sa Sunday. Um, it's a live. I do it as live. It's usually about 25 minutes to half an hour. I haven't been able to cut it back. I just like chatting. What can I say? <laughs> so I always post before I go live. So I always give notification that I'm about to go live. And it's just where I just chat about. Um, my week generally, you know, what's been happening in my week. Um, sometimes I might be guided to talk about something specific. It just depends, like I've said before. So I do appreciate it. This is going to be my October video I'm doing. And you are in October now. And if you're seeing this, you're actually in October. November, there will not be a video. However, like I said, I am going overseas. So I will be doing... I will be vlogging <laughs> so I've got to remember how to use my camera again <laughs> in situations I've got to remember how to pause my camera again. <laughs> so I'll be taking my instruction book with me because <laughs> it's been over two years since I've used it for a vlogging situation thankfully I will have my son with me Andrew that's the whole reason I'm going overseas is to visit him I am so excited who actually has done film film at school and that so he has a pretty good idea of you know what looks really cool and good shots and a little bit of how to use my camera because he did a bit of work for me last time thank you i love you <laughs> until whenever november sometime i'm gone for most of november so um it will probably be december until you see anything uh, i will still do i will probably try to do while i'm overseas i'm going to try to probably do a live while I'm overseas so I'll probably try to do a live video that'll be done on my phone um, so yeah I'm gonna do that maybe once maybe twice just depending on what's happening so yeah so please everybody have a good month have a good month of November please stay safe like I said these I only do these videos monthly because that's what's doable for me and I have to do what's doable for me so thank you so much Ami Tofo stay safe and until i see you again i'm not sure where that be possibly december i'm hoping december i will get a video done in december for you but definitely there will be something in november it'll probably be my trip so take care and uh until we meet again i'm and stay safe all right bye everybody